What is up guys and welcome to another tutorial video and this time I'm going to be doing a hopefully decent tutorial on how to make the build and repair systems automatically queue parts through assemblers and do everything automatically without having to actually craft everything I'm in my little tutorial world I've got my little little tiny spaceship that I made before and I'm here on my little platform with the wind turbines for some power so today I want to do because I just figured out how this works so hopefully this works out in this world the build and repair system to make it automatically queue with the assembler and that way you don't really have to do anything at all as long as you have the resources you're good so I'm going to go ahead and grab assembler, build and repair, and some conveyor stuff. So I preloaded this little small cargo container with some stuff, some basic stuff, you know, iron, nickel, silicone, silver, platinum, gold, stuff like that. And I'm going to get this thing built and then I will swap over to survival mode that way it'll work properly and not just automatically so I'll put the conveyor tube there I'll put this along the back side so right about there I'll do another conveyor tube or a junction not tube and then put it right there is where I will build the assembler uh, maybe like that for the assembler. The build and repair I will put on top just for simplicity. Alright. So that's, uh, that's about it. So, right, you got the build and repair, you got the assembler. You need a programmable block to make this whole magic thing happen. Programmable block, assembler, build and repair, and an inventory with some items, and that is pretty much the gist of it to get this thing to kind of just build whatever you want. So I'm going to hop into a survival world real quick, and I'll be back. Alright guys, so I'm in a survival status now. I got my own inventory and everything, and yeah, should be interesting. So. I just learned how to do this, but I wanted to make a video on it because I haven't really seen any videos explaining it too well. So, basically what you want to do, first you can find the script, so we edit, uh, browse scripts, nanobot build and repair system queuing, display scripting, so you'll click it, copy it to the editor, Cool. Check. Oh, yeah, yeah. Compilation signals. Anyways, do you want to remember? What, yeah, sure. Uh, so, what you want to do your build and repair system and your assembler that you want to use for the automatic scripting, queuing thing, you'll go here, control panel, and you want to make a group with the build and repair. So, you build and Repair system one and save that group and then same thing for the assembler this one I believe is assembler group one save that so you have a build and repair system one group and a assembler group one and this will tell you as well uh, what you need the so build and repair system group name build and repair group one assembler group name assembler group one cool and then check code again compilation successful all right so I screwed that up so I need build and repair group one assembler group one okay okay so you Build and repair 
group, not system. Group one, save. And now hopefully if I go back, check code, which is successful. There you go. Okay, so I figured that thing out. I got that working now. All right, cool. So a refresh. So you're gonna want the script, yada yada. So browse scripts. You're gonna want nanobot build and repair, queuing, display scripting, which you can find if you build your script machine thing. Go to the open in the workshop. And then you can find Nanot Building and Repair System Queuing Displaying Scripting. That's the one that you want. So you're going to use that one. You're going to get your stuff built. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're going to get your build and repair built, your assembler built that you want to use. You're not going to change the name of the block itself, but you're going to make a group build and repair group one. You're going to save your built-in repairs that you want to do. You can do more than one. You can have like five, six, five thousand built-in repair systems on this one group, and it'll work. Same with the assemblers. If you want to have more than one assembler because you're like crazy advanced and you want to build everything, then you can put all the assemblers in the same group, assembler group one. Get those built. Get the groups built. You'll go back to the script and you'll check the code and that's pretty much about it let's go ahead and uh, can't really do that let's go ahead and production a couple more steel plates and if I go ahead and go boom 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 yep and it should start working go ahead and crafts up everything it needs steel plates I know that's not the best example to use, and so, because that's not the best example to use, I will go to all blocks and let's do, let's do a wind turbine, because it's one of the only things that I can build, because I'm not very well built, and then we're going to put it up here, just kidding, I can't do that, I can, alright, so, all I have is one interior plate so yeah I'm not placing this thing with a bunch of items and this should so let's say if I put you oh, right there now we'll take a look at the assembly real quick it should start making some stuff come on there you go interior plates I've got some steel plates left over it's bringing silicone making motors and some construction components very nice and that pretty much in a nutshell is how you get the build and repair system to assemble its own things and once I figured out how this works oh it's gonna make a huge difference on my survival world so check out my survival world if you're watching this video I got all kinds of crazy stuff going on in there if this video helped you out, please leave a like. It helps me out a bunch. And subscribe if you want to see more tutorials. If you have any recommendations or requests, let me know. And I will do my best to make a video on it. And that is pretty much going to do it for this one. Build and repair. Auto queuing. The greatest thing in the world. Catch you guys later.